In this video, I'm going to show you how to make your own completely free Linktree style page. And we're going to do it in WordPress on your own hosting with your own domain. Now, ideally, what you'd want to do is use a short domain or you can install this plugin and use an existing domain. But I'll go into that a little bit later on. But a link tree, if you've not heard of it, is what a lot of people use to put their social, put some links in their bio. So when they say, click on the link in my bio, you'll go to a link tree, a link tree page. It'll be a URL like link.tree or something. And then it'll be like this sort of page you see on the screen where it'll be uh, their, their profile and a bit about them and their links here. <coughs> and the issue with link tree pages is they aren't that flexible with design. And also um, they can start well, if you want more features, you have to pay for them and so on. And yeah, it's just not brilliant. They, they hold all your data and you don't really get that much option with it. I mean, the cheapest package apart from the free is a 250 or about $3 a month and so on. So Linktree is good, but um, yeah, I just prefer not to use. I just don't like, just don't like it. So the one I'm going to be using is completely free and it's for WordPress. Let me quickly pull it up. So the plugin you need is called WP MyLink. So just go to uh, plugins. Whoops, I knew my links. I'll show you which one it is. It's this one here, WP MyLinks, with this turquoise background. And um, it says it's not, it's not it's not compatible. It's not tested with version six of WordPress six point zero one. But I've tested it fine. I've got PHP eight installed. It's not a problem. It's all fine. Okay, and I also recommend when you do this, you also install Pretty Links. We're going to use that to cloak the links. There's Pretty Links here. Install that one as well. And also, maybe while you're at it, if you can add a, a duplicate post plugin. So the one I used is this first one here, duplicate post. I'll go into why in a second. So this my links. Um. So these are some of their templates. It looks really nice and neat. Uh, they've got some good options. This is one of this is their demo, their demo um, uh, website. So you've got the social media links. You've got a profile image. You've got a name or username. Uh, you've got a little bit about them. So you can add your links here. Add a name. Add a little uh, image with it. You can add a YouTube video here. Some more images and more links and pictures and so on. So it looks really good. And for completely free plugin, I thought I was quite impressed with it. So what I've done, I'll show you how I set it up. I'll set one up right now. So setting, let me see what else do we need. Uh, global, I don't really want to mess with it too much. The themes, we'll go into that in a second. Let me just quickly find, where are the list of themes? Um, oops, my computer's lagging a bit. Where are the list of themes? I don't know where they are. One second. Well, I think it's in the plugin information. Let's go to plugins. Where's it gone? Plugin installed. Uh, view details. And where's the themes link? Okay, so these are all the. Let me just quickly click on these. I might as well open them. There's quite a few. I think this person is Indonesian, so it's uh, Indonesian names. And uh, it's quite a few of this for free plugin. Okay, that's the default one. So this is like Instagram's, I think it's called Story Style. And this is the, so it's, it's when you hover over the link, it changes color. It's really nice. Even the default one is nice. This is called Mababu with a different color background and so on. This one's very nice. This is called Chikri. Again, another nice one. This one is called Ser Serimai. I'm butchering the names, but that's another one. Uh, Salamet. Papadian. That's another nice one. Sindoru. They're all very similar, just different backgrounds, different hover effects. I think you can change some of this stuff with CSS. You can't change it from the default setup. But you see, we've got really nice effects on it. It looks really professional. Polo is a nice, simple one, clean one. Data looks very similar to that one. A different hover effect. Another one, pastel. Um, 
copy hit um copy susa i don't know what that means and it's the last one here clip one so which one did i like let me see this one's all right is it called secure okay let's do that okay that's that so let's go back into the plugin now the way i'm going to use it is i'm going to use it i've got a short domain so i'm going to use this to uh, as the main page for my root domain. So I'm going to send people from TikTok, TikTok and YouTube, Shorts or whatever, any platform. And I'm going to say, go to this site. So for example, mywebsite.com. But because it's a WordPress plugin, you can also add your own, add it to your own um, uh, WordPress site and have a separate, it will, be, it will add a separate directory called my links. Then it could be link one, link two, whatever, or link page one, link page two and so on. <coughs> and you can always use something like Bitly or some other short link provider to, uh, to direct people but for me the main reason I wanted it was just to get one simple short link page because I don't have time to sit down and design it I don't have the skill to sit down and design it okay so this is where I'm gonna start this tutorial now without too much waffle okay so we'll start here my links we'll add new I'm gonna call it links click off here and then it will create a page uh, for slash my link for slash links you can edit that and change it to something else but I'll leave it like that for now um, let me click here. Okay, one second. Okay, so we're going to choose the avatar which goes at the top of the, uh, the page. So choose avatar. I've already made this fake avatar. Use. And then you can have the story like border, shadow, or plain. So I'll use story like. It looks pretty nice. Name. I'll just do at uh, demo name. <coughs> Check. <coughs> Sorry. Check out these amazing finds. Stick an emoji in there. And then that's pointing. Point down. And the theme, what was it called? Chicory. Theme is chicory. Position, social media. Okay. This is a slight annoyance. Um, I wish that they would have an option where if you don't enter anything, it won't show all the all the buttons along here. Oh, for this one, it doesn't show it. Okay, that's weird. I have to figure out. Maybe it's hidden with CSS. Anyway, if I just for temporary, I just put in these. Actually, let me just preview it because when I tested it, it did. Let me publish this and just quickly view it. Oh, it doesn't show it. Okay, okay. Maybe it's just me. Oh, maybe it was, it was the, the demo theme that I used. Okay, no problem. But anyway, so let's say we have got a Facebook URL. Put a hash in there. So you can upload your own Facebook icon or whatever if you want. I'll do a Twitter. I'll do Instagram, YouTube, and TikTok. Now let's test it. <coughs> Sorry. Okay, open this page. Okay, now it's got them all here. So you see, it's got a nice looking um, logos there. And this is what I was talking about, the story story mode thing, the story, story mode style um, profile pic. Your profile name, the text, the, it looks really good. Okay, so now let's get to the, you can choose top or bottom, and so on, we've done all that. Let's hide that now, it's done. Okay, this is where we get to the the real situation so this is about our link so just say you've got a lot of people doing amazon let's say we've got um amazon um i don't know oh let me just put air fryer uh link https oh no no sorry 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 well you can put a direct link in there but i'm going to be using pretty links let me open up a new pretty links show you how i'm going to do that <coughs> excuse me so add new, so I'll call it Amazon Air Fryer, for example. Target URL, URL HTTPS, Amazon UK. I'll put it here. You can leave it as default, but you can, I will change it. And you can put a note there or whatever you want. So obviously in here you'd put in your affiliate link, so affiliate link. Just copy the whole tag. And to be safe with Amazon, they are a bit funny in their terms and conditions. I think you have to mention Amazon somewhere. It's an Amazon link. So let me just update this. And let me click on this little clipboard here. Go back here. 
So I call it air fryer, put in bracket, Amazon, link URL, image, uh, artificial image link, square and side, landscape, blah, 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 blah. We choose the estimate image, use card layout. Okay, let's, let's, let's see without card. And you can put in a YouTube video, one second. Uh, so it says they don't enter the other fields and put in a YouTube video, but let's, we don't need that right now. Update. And now let's look at our page again. What's it got been down there? So air fryer Amazon, and there's uh, no image there, so let's bring in any old image. Where's it gone? This one. Featured image, um, I'll just grab this one in there. Demo. And yeah, update. Let's view it again. And there we go, that's the little featured image. So it makes it nice and round, it makes it fit this, uh, this, this, this design. So that's pretty cool. So if, if you're showing people quickly on your TikTok, you know, click on this link, blah, blah, blah. They'll see the title, they'll see the featured image and so on. So that's, that's, that's really nice and really professional. You've got your social media links here as well. They'll see your face, your name, everything. That's pretty sweet. Okay, now, the, now what I want to do with this, uh, let me do a new links. So I can do one called, uh, main or something and then um it'll be same avatar uh name demo name and let me copy that description where's it gone okay theme was that this one you could change your theme actually because it's the main one but now let's try a different theme let's choose default uh, social media links again. Uh, let me leave that and see what happens. So now you see it's going to uh, it's going to main. Ah, why is it? Why did it not do the directory? That's a bit strange. I'm not sure why. Anyway, let's see. Have a look at this. So there we go. This is your page. Now what I want to do with this is I want to add the links page has different categories so I can do a category here call let me close forget this bit call um, Amazon finds link URLs it will be a link URL to that just pretend it's called Amazon links it will oh sorry not this one wrong page uh, what was it called oh yeah what's called links yeah, yeah sorry yeah what's called links copy oh, no 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 not duplicate sorry Okay, so I'm going to go to links. Her image, I could put the Amazon logo in there. Let me just put in something else, whatever this is. Um, we don't need card layout, no. Okay, save. And now we'll go to the, <coughs> this will be the main links page. Got too many tabs up. Okay, this is the main links page. So now you can see it's got the Amazon finds. And it's got the uh, the feature image that I put in there. It's when they go to this one, they go to this page. So now I can have everything nicely ordered. So I'll get rid of socials here, maybe. Everything will be nicely ordered, and then they can go back to the main page and look at something else. Instead of having one, I've seen some pages where they're absolutely massive with a never ending list, and people put in the comments, oh, I can't find this, I can't find that. But if you have it nicely structured, and you get a limited, a limited bio pages, you can uh, have it nicely ordered, nicely, nicely done. So again, let me go to all my links. Oh, they've actually got stats here, I didn't know that. And then what you can do, you can link to the uh, to the main main page. Now, what I want to do to make it easy, I want to make this the actual main website page. So for that, I'll go to settings, reading, and go to static page and go to main, my link page, save changes. So now, if you go to this page, so this is not what theme you want to install, it's just an independent page. If you go to this page now, it will go to this main page now. This is this is exactly what I want. So I'm gonna have, I'm gonna have a short four, five, six, seven letter domain name. So go to this page, get my links. None of this is link dot tree forward slash blah blah blah. Just go to this page. It's cheap to get a domain, ten dollars. I'll put a link down below to uh, one or two of my favorite hosts. And go to this page, get this product, blah blah blah. And there we go, make it on link page. Now I did kind of 
rush it a little bit but that is it's so easy to do and it's much better than having your data with Linktree and the reason I stole the copy plugin let me go to my my uh, sorry my links now essentially what I want to do I want to have a main page so this is the front page now I'm going to spend time working on that make it look nice add all the socials everything then once I'm set with that I've got the theme I want I've got the social media links I want I'll just click copy with that plugin I, I used earlier I installed earlier duplicate plugin copy give it a second and now we've got main two so let's edit this one and I'll call this um, let me see eBay for example edit the URL eBay okay oh it doesn't copy the avatar and stuff okay that's a shame Oh, I'm not, I think I'm not set one up, that's why. Let me see. Um, so which one did I copy from? Copy from main. Did I have one in there? Oh, I do, that's a shame. I can't copy exactly. Let me try another plugin quickly. Because I don't normally use that one. I normally use the, the Yoast. Ah, oh, what am I doing? Add new. It will be slightly annoying if I can't do that. Okay, go back to my links. It could be something in the settings that I didn't do. So main. Um, let, me, let me uninstall the other one. Let me deactivate it. What was it called? This one, I think. Yeah. Okay. And you have duplicate posts. So copy everything let's see if this makes any difference okay go back to my links or my links let me delete uh, this one ah why did they not allow me to copy this is strange Just pause it for a second. Okay, unfortunately I hit a snag there. I tried several, but I think some sort of custom format or something, and it won't copy all of the details, so that's a bit annoying. Um so I, what you could do is just um just put it in the notepad all the details so you'd have to save a bit of time. That is slightly annoying. But anyway, the actual the concept itself is fine because you can just uh, create as many as you want. I'll ask the developer if there is any way to duplicate the posts. Because that would save some time. But um, I suppose most people won't have too many link pages. But it's just my own use case. But anyway, the tutorial stands as it is. Because that is how you set it up. And that is how you create these pages. Now, I was doing it in Cadence. And it, I was sitting there making sp uh, spaces and row columns and all that stuff. It just took too long. It was annoying. It looked ugly. This is just so much quicker. Just quickly create a page and load up your links like that and then just add more pages and do whatever you want. So anyway, this was a bit of a long-winded video. Hopefully you will use it and if you do make a link page, uh, now I won't say put it down below because it might cause problems with the YouTube comments, but anyway, just say you, you found it useful and sorry it took so long to make, make this video. It was longer than expected. And I'll see you in the next one. Thanks, bye.